everybody, the Bang is back. Welcome to part 18 and let's play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons for the Game Boy Color brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, off footage, I got me a ton of rubies and I finally got those two heart pieces from Maple and the Gacha Seeds. I'm not really proud of the end results. I've had to cheat to get myself like 99 Gacha Seeds and to set it up so that it would plant immediately in front of the Maris House in Horon Village. I was at that for like two hours, two fucking hours, going through replants, go back, get some more rings, and then fairies and potions and all that stuff. I repraised a lot of rings, didn't really get anything useful, and then I realized I planted a gash of seed north of Eyeglass Lake, so I checked it out. That's where the heart piece was the entire time. Yeah. You are very lucky I did that off footage. I would have taken way too many parts to do that if I was recording. Anyways, let's use the mystery seed right over here on this question mark. Then a black mini Moldorm will pop out. You just got to attack it, of course. And we got the X shaped jewel. Perfect. Okay, now what is it I'm supposed to do again? I'm supposed to get the other jewel. Oh right, it's at Sun at Mount Coco. But first, let's go to Sunken City and take care of one little thing. You'll be glad I did. It involves trading items. What you gotta do is set the season to winter here. So that's the only way you can trade this item. You just gotta get over to this house. There'll be a little snowbank to lead the way. I wonder where the monster that came to town came from! I hope we can be friends! Well, at least you're not that same kid that was poking him with a stick. It may just be a rumor, but they say there's a giant up in the mountains. He sounds scary, but I want to meet him! Well, at least he's not sick, so go, go have fun. If Maple were here, I'd send her to Mount Cuckoo for mushrooms. But since she hasn't come back, I can't make my magic potion. Eh, all you gotta do is kill those kids. She'll be coming back in a heartbeat. That's it! You got a mushroom! I'll trade my wooden bird. How about it? Uh, do I want your bird? Okay. Yay, I gave her a mushroom. She gave me her bird. It looks real. Here, I can finally make my magic potion. Guess I'll open the shop soon. Oh, you'll do it! Ah, oh, you're open already! What are you doing with the cocoa? Well, at least you can get magic potions here now. They're 300 rubies, though. Who would want a wooden bird? Alright, there was a place in Horon Village that wanted one. I better send that over right now. I believe it's somewhere around here. Up oh, there it is. How you doing, Wolf of Brimley? I want to make a cuckoo clock better than any before, but I can't find a diabetes, I mean wooden bird, that I like. One that's just breathtaking. You! That's an amazing bird you have. May I? Yep! The old man likes my bird. Breathtaking! Here, take this. Yeah, I got type 2 adult onset diabetes, I mean engine grease for my bird. <laughs> engine grease for your bird! It's like, what do you put on your bird? Oh, some engine grease. Fuck KY Jelly. I'll just use some engine grease. Yeah! That'll get me all lubed up. And probably give her an infection, but that's nobody's business. Tails tell of a curious object carefully hidden deep within the Moblin's Keep. Already ahead of you. Basically all ruins. Alright, let's go in this cave. To the windmill! I mean, I gotta get rid of this engine grease somehow. I know someone who wants it. Go around, go around! If I could just oil it, it would go around more quickly. That's what she said. Engine grease? Will that make it go quickly? Sure, it's perfect for your bird. Ah, oh, phonograph. Nice. Yep, it's working a lot better. What the hell am I doing? Actually, I'm just better off doing this. Because I got something else to show you. 
before we head over to Tarim Ruins. No, actually, we gotta go over to Mount Kuku. I forgot about that. Yeah, let's take care of that right now. I went the wrong way. Let's let's go down here. Yeah, it's just a little sidetrack. Don't get nervous. Besides, I mean, I got a lot to do still. I mean, we haven't reached the sixth dungeon yet, and we're not even at 20 parts. I mean, why not kill some time? This is only part 18. Yeah, yeah, it's part 18. Just reminding myself. Basically, what you gotta do is... Well, I don't really care what's in here now. Yeah, a potion I don't need. You can only carry one at a time, unfortunately. It would've been nice if you could carry more. Then again, it would just make the game too easy. So I can understand why it's just one. Let's change the season to summer. And then we head over this way. No, we're not going in the dungeon, we're actually going down. You actually see this little area. Hey, you see a crazy old man. If you want true power, then slay the four golden beasts that roam the land. Then I shall grant my power to you. So far, you slain zero. Yeah, I slain zero. Fuck you. Okay, now we can head over to uh, Mount Coco. Oh, and there was a hidden area, too. I'll, I'll bomb that later. Well, I got some spare time, just to see what's there. I got another jewel to get. Okay, unfortunately, there's no tree on Mount Cuckoo, so I have to go this way. Very unfortunate, I know, but it can't be helped. I can swim a lot faster. Maybe there's a ring for it. I'm not 100% sure. But I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, I know there's a Zora ring that allows you to stay dove underwater for an indefinite period of time without getting back up for air. But it's not something I really need. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The stump's over that way. Don't worry, when you live in the East End of St. John's, you know where the stump is. I'm not talking about that kind of stump, I mean some kind of bar I go to. I mean, it's alright if there's a DJ, but when there's live music, you can hardly hear anyone talk. What the hell am I doing? It's supposed to be spring to get up there. Right, right, I thought I was going up a snowbank. No, I was supposed to use those flowers. Now I remember. There we go. It wasn't, wasn't there a cave? Oh, right, right, I already got the treasure here. I was thinking of something else. Haha, <laughs> I killed you, Lita. Haha. <laughs> okay, to find the jewel, you're actually supposed to swim here. And find another area. Lots of deep water. It's kind of funny that if you're in the overworld, you have to get back up for air. Yet when you're swimming in these areas, you don't need air at all. You can just keep going. I don't understand that. I mean, as far as those four golden beasts go, I'm probably not going to look for all of them until later. Because some of them you cannot finish until after the sixth dungeon. I mean, sometime after that. Okay, so I got all four jewels. I'm gonna head over to Spool Swamp. And I'm gonna head over this way. Oh, Maple, how's it going, you fucking cunt? I'll destroy this sign. And I'll throw it right at ya. Of course, it didn't really work all that well. And as usual, I'll have more stuff. Yeah, leave me alone. I'm busy. Okay. You know, if not for the colors, those jewels remind me of a PlayStation controller. Let me think about it. Circle, triangle, square, X. So PlayStation controls. Ah, we finally made it into the inside of Tarm Ruins. Okay, right off the bat, it's a bit of a puzzle. 
So why don't we change the season to summer? Climb up the vines. Okay, here are some new enemies. Well, actually, they're not all that new. They're really armed dark nuts from the ancient ruins. You know, the ones next to Onyx Slayer. Okay, perfect. Now all I gotta do is push this Armo statue. There, create a bit of a stairway. It's not a big one, but it'll do for now. So let's get back out of here. And this time we change the season to winter. Now we can go through this way. Yeah, it's a bit of a puzzle, so take advantage of knowing all four of the seasons. There we go. Okay, you cannot push this one, but that's okay. You don't need it. The other two are going to crash right into the water. You can swim across. Okay, I wonder what season I need here, derp! There we go. Alright, get used to the leaves. You're gonna see them a lot. Not to mention lots and lots of like-likes. Oh, come on! That so should've blew up that wall. Okay, it's just a fairy's place. Okay. Okay, the like likes are gonna spawn infinitely here. There's no reason to fight them. Do dee dee dee. It's staring at your phonograph. Play it. Sure. Dee, what a tune! I love it. I'll teach you the way to my secret spot. If temperatures rise as you go far to the west, you'll find it. Hmm, a little puzzle, don't you think? It's related to the Lost Woods. So, let's get the Rod of Seasons out. Yep, let's whip out the good old rod. Alright, let's change this to winter. Remember, as temperatures rise, if you keep going west, you'll find the secret spot. Okay, I think I screwed up. Okay, let's try this again. Basically, what I was supposed to do is get on the stump immediately and change the seasons. I'm skipping a bit too much. So yeah, as the temperatures rise, you'll find this secret spot. Remember, like, it's winter, and then it's fall, and then spring, and the hottest season, which is summer. And that is how you get the hidden spot. And look at that, we get a new sword. The Sacred Noble Sword. I mean, it's a bit of an upgraded weapon, and not only that, you can fire beams, if you got full health. Okay, let's try this again. Only this time we're gonna go in a different area. We're gonna go west. Remember, it's the same puzzle, winter, fall, spring, summer. Only we're going in different directions. We went west after winter. With fall, you go south. Spring, you go east. And summer, you go north. That is how you get past the Lost Woods. Enough said. There we go. Now we're in a new area. Yeah, and those armor statues will attack you. And look, how about that? There's actually a Gale Seed tree. So now we don't have to go through the Lost Woods anymore. Okay, let's go through this entire puzzle in the next part. I'm out of time. So, see you later. We're gonna go to Dungeon 6.